you can articulate as much as you want about this prehistoric dinosaur swimming in shallow water, clear shallow water, that loves to eat flies. And when you hook them, they jump and crash through the surface and put big holes in the ocean. Left on, on this white strip. And they throw along left. And they have a spirit that is as big as the wind and the earth itself because it's a creature, it's an animal. And you actually communicate with that, with that fish through that fly. Right there. Tick, 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 tick. Trying to convince it to do something it's not supposed to do. Here he comes. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Then you hook this big animal. And then you got to fight him, break its spirit, break its will. What words can you use to really say that without somebody actually seeing it to understand what you're saying? Fly tarpon fishing it separates itself from so many different other species because of the will of the fish. It's the will of the fish. There's no other inshore fly fishing species that I know of that has the will of a tarpon. Tick, stop. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Wine, wine, wine. I think he's a good fish, Bo. Okay, good. It's, uh, he certainly is fighting like a good fish, right? Yeah. We just chased him all over creation. <laughs> Hit him. Woo! Hey. Okay. Just like that. Give it to him. Give it to him. I gave it to him. Give it to him, son. <laughs> Give it to him. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got it. Got him. <laughs> now we're getting caught up. Now we're getting caught up in a world. <laughs> Tradition, competition, passion, love of the sport, camaraderie, frustration, and joy. All of these words have been used at one time or another to describe tarpon on fly. Big fish in shallow water, it's the ultimate sight fishing game. This week, Rob and Bo are fishing the 2015 Luke Golden Fly Tarpon Tournament out of the Lorelei in Isla Morada. Each year brings a few new faces to challenge the field but the game is the same. Three days of fishing, matching some of the area's best guides and anglers. So the Golden Fly starts now. First tournament of the year, the first of the big three. Players are in town. We got great weather, we got good tides. Bring it. Bo is paired with his friend Paul Newt, and Rob is fishing with one of the most accomplished tarpon anglers the sport has ever seen veteran tournament angler, Andy Mill. Great challenges are worthy of the battle. So they say. <laughs> What's that fish doing? You're right on the edge of that black hole. Yeah, I know, there's fish. There's gotta be some down here, though. I see the brown line out mm -hmm. here. There is fish ahead of him. Oh, I, I Just see Just deeper. Some. Right here? Yeah. Keep tripping. I thought you ate it. It's a nice big fish, I think. No, he's very big. You know, Andy Mill, over, over the years, has, has basically become a, a tarpon icon. Before he was a, a tarpon fisherman, he was an Olympic downhill skier. The guy was married to Chris Everett. He's traveled the world, friends with George W. Bush. He's done all kinds of amazing things. Okay, got it. But when he entered the world of fly fishing for tarpon, he went from being that guy, an Olympic downhill skier and doing all these other things, to being the winningest tarpon fly angler of all the tarpon tournaments history. Besides all of those accomplishments, Andy's a great guy. I'm just not liking what I'm seeing there. It's weird all of a sudden. It's very strange. Flying under him? I can't tell, but look at that tail. I feel that tail hitting that leader every time it kicks. The fly fell out of his face, he's snagged. You're kidding me. Nope. It's 
Might take a little longer than normal. You think? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice fish. Yeah, he is a slob. I just don't know how we're gonna get a hold of his face. I could, the fly is right by... His anal fin? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to be really smooth so I don't rip through that skin. It's amazing how quickly he digested this fly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's right there. <laughs> that's, that's freaking that funny, was hungry. <laughs> And he, okay, Robbie, we're doing good here. Just when, when I go to, he's gonna really surge. Right, I'll, I'll let him go if, he, if you lose him. Bro, we're, we're close. We're so close, man. I just ever, just couldn't quite get him, you know. I didn't want to grab his tail. Yeah, yeah. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend, by Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. And by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. I think we just keep doing the same. Yep. So that's the only thing we can do. Yeah. And we got no other option here. I just ever just couldn't, couldn't quite get him, you know. I didn't want to grab his tail. Yeah, yeah. We want to try and get him in here, not when he gets in that current, it's gonna make life a lot more difficult. Let's go catch another one. Yeah, man. Good try, Sorry. brother. Sorry about that. That was some way bad luck. What are you gonna do about that? I'm telling you, man, we're gonna we're gonna get one any minute. Wendy Whoppers, dude. <laughs> oh, I, I think that out of all the tournaments. This one being the kickoff, yeah. you'd think maybe things are more mellow and everybody says things are more mellow, but at the same time, everyone's looking at the golden fly as, as a way to gauge themselves for what's going to happen the third week in June for the Gold Cup. And I'm fishing this tournament with Paul Newt. I've fished hey, it with Paul Newt for Marty's more DM years sausages. than I can remember at this point. Um, but uh, it's always a good time with him because you know that if the fishing is not good, you know that you're gonna talk about some very interesting uh, subjects and you're also going to delve into um, some places that your mind probably hasn't been taken since the previous year of fishing together. You know, we decided yesterday that, that Paul is not going to acknowledge my requests for him to cast unless I speak to him by calling out his Christian name, which is Eagle Eyes Paul. Yeah. Well, th this is all based on uh, this guy that Heidi and I fished with in the Bahamas. His name was Eagle Eyes Fred. And, and uh, that's how, you know, he, he doesn't just sort of introduce himself that way in jest. That's what he wants to be called. You know, you're like, okay, uh, Eagle Eyes Fred, uh, you want something to drink out of the cooler? Like you call him that all the time, Eagle Eyes Fred. Not just, it doesn't ever get shortened down to Fred at any time through the day. <laughs> it's Eagle Eyes Fred. And so I decided that I'm Eagle Eyes Paul. <laughs> you know? Because I get to do that too. So uh, nine o'clock, 40 feet. Just give me a cast, go to the right and long. Oh. <laughs> Eagle Eyes Paul. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, that was my fault. No problem. That was perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Lead them. Strip long, strip long slow. Little ticks, little ticks. Little ticks, got them. Put your rod tip in the water. Cool. Loose drag, right? Yeah, easy. You don't Hold on. Keep the rod tip up. 
Well, I tip up. I don't know what kind of hook set I got, Bo. Talk to me. Okay, just, is he still running? Right now, right now, right now, right now! <laughs> Be sure and log on to SilverKingsTV.com or WaypointTV.com to watch past episodes and stay caught up on the series. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo. Season two! <laughs> oh my God. That's the most incredible! <laughs> <laughs>The place is called Isla Morada, a small village of islands in the middle of the Florida Keys. Situated between the saltwater wilderness of Everglades National Park in one direction, and in the other, the continental United States' only coral barrier reef and endless shallow flats with breathtakingly beautiful waters. But it's the droves of tarpon that truly make this place so special as the tarpon is considered by many to be the greatest sport fish on the planet. Little ticks, got them. Put your rod tip in the water. When that tarpon needs to fly, oh. and you come tight and get a good stick in him and clear your line, it's just pandemonium jumping out of the fly line, getting the fly and getting him on the rod, and he takes off and to see that fish jump and bow to him, and, just they're so they're so classy. They're sh they're such show-offs, and and they um, uh, they have so much energy, um, and you can't rush them. You can't rush them. You got to stay with them. You got to you got to break them down. You got to break them down, and it's a real mind game with a tarpon. And uh, uh, they're just they're just a great beast, and it's uh, so connected to the fish. Uh oh, I got you. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Gotta be getting close, right? Yeah. I got the fish right there. You better lift that sucker up. I am. Okay. There's the fly line. Okay, good. Once we get that back, I'll feel a lot better just because I know he can break us off in here. Okay. okay go, 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 go. I'm, dude. When we fish in a tournament, I'd say that there's almost no additional intensity uh, than, than what we have on a regular day. We sit and we joke around all day. We, we uh, laugh about the same things that we laugh about. You know, with Bo and I, we both have a really sick sense of humor. You know, it's a, we like to say that it's a race to the bottom and then when you find the bottom, you drill to try to, you know, find a new bottom. And that's just the way we are on the boat. And that's the way we are on a tournament day. That's the way we are any time. But uh, what do you know? You know, Bo and I, we fish together in the tournaments and we often do really well. Sometimes we win. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Wine, wine, wine. Wine, wine. I think I got it. Hold on, try it again just to make sure. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Got, got it that time. Got him that time. Cool. All He's right. a good one. What do you think? I think good enough? All right, let's just, we'll fight him for a little bit, see what he looks like. I think he's a good fish, Bo. Okay, good. So, uh, he certainly is fighting like a good fish, right? Yeah. We just chased him all over creation. Yeah, but remember, it's day, yeah. one, it's day one, we got five straps. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your teeth done. Real, real, real. Just keep whining like a winch. Just whine, whine, whine. Whine, 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 whine. It's not gonna be the end of the world to burn one of our straps. Oh! <laughs> oh, it just got caught. It's okay, it's okay. You got him pretty much. So just, you know, just take your time and, and try to lift his head like you have been. The, the unpredictability of the tarpon is a, is a really neat part of it. I mean, if it was just like some 
kind of stupid fish that you could just go and hook as many as you liked, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. Nice and easy, nice and easy there. Okay, pull him back up when you get up here. Okay, he ain't ready yet, but he's almost ready, you know? Take your time. Keep reeling. I got him. I got him. Okay. I got him. Okay, Paul. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, I need you to put a strap around the thickest section right in front of the dorsal. Okay. And most importantly, make sure it's strapped tight and it's a straight line. Okay. And we got to get a good picture with that straight line. Okay. Make sure it's at a nice, true, and honest angle. Get it a little bit further back. Okay, and make sure it's tight, you know? Yeah, Not it's tight, it's tight. Okay. Now slide that strap off okay. without tightening it. Nice and soft, nice and soft. Take your time, there's no rush. Okay. Because okay. it's a jaw to fork measurement, okay? Yep. 61. 61? Yeah. Okay. The fly's out. Okay. But this fish is ready to go. Whew. See you later, sweetheart. Oh. oh. Good job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> nice, man. Camera. <laughs> Camera. Oh, nice. Late in the game. Always. <laughs> Would you expect anything oh. else? Great. You think it's going to be? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, it was a decent fish. I can promise you he's going to be somewhere in that range, but I don't know if he's going to make it or not. I don't know if he's going to make it either. You know, that looks like a pretty small strap. You think so? Yeah. Okay, Stop. well. But you know what? Put the rod tip in the water. Whatever. You've got to try it on day one. Whatever. Yeah. Great way to end the day. Okay. Good fighting on that him. fish. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I got yeah. him. Dude, I wasn't even like putting the heat on him. Yeah. I could tell you were, you were exhibiting self-control yeah, for Paul Newt. Normally I yeah. give him yeah. the stones. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> nice man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. Smith, the experience is everything. And by Chica Lodge and Spa, authentically Florida Keys, authentically Chica. Behind me, over here on the right side, north bounder. Keep taking it. He's got it. Hit him, hit him, hit him. We're all good. Rock and roll. Okay, got it. Got it? Yep. Yeah, this is a crazy fish, huh? As long as she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> He's awake. I mean, he's not giant, but he's big enough, I believe. So he does not want to come up to the top where you no. can hurt him. Look at that other tarpon right behind her. You know what? That, if that other fish wasn't there, it keeps poking this fish. Yeah. Keeps bumping her belly. E e yeah. I've never seen this before. I have, me and Carlos had the same thing happen in the gold cup, except it was 15 fish bumping the fish we had on. I like that tail working.
Got other fish right under, right under her. I know. And that other fish has not left her side. In the center hatch. Okay. Okay. 63 and a quarter. Boy, you gotta salute this fish. This thing has so much good will. Neutral. Follow me down to Jordan Street. God's gonna trouble the water. It feels good to get one. I'll tell you that. And you know what? I don't know what time it is, but we got two more days to lay it on these suckers. Yeah, man. Thank you. Hand me that strap so I can... Tape it shut? Yeah. I like those apples. <laughs> 72 <laughs> comes.